All right, how's it going, y'all? So today has just been an absolute day for release candidates in the IT world because both Synology and Unify have released release candidates for their operating systems. And today we're gonna to be talking that about it for the Unify 3.0.20. So this is the first full release candidate for Unify OS. So first off, this is actually not even necessarily a brand new release. This is actually the exact same thing that was in alpha. So the number did not change. So 3.0.20 had an alpha release. And then Unify decided, hey, it is stable enough, so we are going to actually have it as the full release candidate. And so hopefully it's stable enough where it is at the actual version. I've been running it for about a day or so and had no issues thus far. And this Unify 3.0 update has a lot of really nice quality of life features, especially my favorite right now is the WireGuard support natively built in to the Dream Machines. So for those of you who do not know, WireGuard has just been added into Unify Dream Machines. And this is a huge deal because L2TV over IPsec was the only other option you had if you were running your VPN on your Unify and trying to have clients be able to connect in, your Road Warrior setup where you're off network and you wanna be able to connect back in. You had to be using L2TP over IPsec. And L2TP over IPsec now sucks. It's a Cisco owned protocol. I think they patented it and own it. And they went to Windows and said, hey, no, we're, we changed these things around and basically broke compatibility for the majority of Windows devices for going into a Synology or a Unify system. All of a sudden I had a bunch of clients who had this issue and could not figure it out. Turned out it was Cisco meddling with Windows and having that issue. So it's really nice that they've gotten WireGuard out. WireGuard is the fastest, period, VPN protocol out there. It is incredibly encrypted and incredibly fast, low latency connections. The difference between running a WireGuard server versus an open VPN server for something like SMB is substantial. It is a really big deal having WireGuard available and I'm very excited for it. I do wish they also had an open VPN option. It is really nice to have WireGuard, but open VPN is available on more devices and tends to be a little bit further along in its development cycle. But having WireGuard natively on there is great. WireGuard has been built into Unify for a long time via teleport, but it's very nice having the ability for any WireGuard client to have the key built in. I'm gonna show that in a minute here. And then a couple of other things that are very useful in here is they've gotten ad blocking added in and some stuff if you've not updated Unify in a while, the 3.0 stuff that's super useful are some really, really, really great logs. By far my favorite one is logs for blocked inter VLAN routing. That is huge. That is going to make debugging servers 10 times easier because it's very, very often that a connection is getting blocked from firewall rules and it is so easy to see that. And that is under the trigger logs right here. A few other things that are useful, they've redesigned the Unify application page. Once again, that's why I don't make a ton of tutorials in Unify is they're always old by the time I post them. They also have Sericata now for threat management, which is huge, massively popular open source package for threat management. It's really nice having that built into the UDM now. And you can also start doing special routing with your open VPN server. So if you want to have a privacy VPN and you want certain networks connecting, that is all on there with both open VPN as well as WireGuard. So a lot of really useful stuff in here, some good old bug fixes, but we're going to go ahead and now check it out and talk about how to update. It was very easy to update. Once I actually had updated, I had not updated my Unify OS in a very long time. And so you just need to log into your UDM and set your release channel to release candidate. But you can see right here, you can change it back to regular. That's what I tend to like to do is only add release candidates when I know there's a reason for them, just because Unify can ship some uh, buggy hardware in my opinion. So I just dropped it onto release candidate, grab the update, and then put it back to official. That's normally how I do it. And we can go straight into our network here. And where the really good stuff is, is in settings as well as our system log. So we can go on in and we can check out our new VPN configurations right here. And we can see that now when we create a new VPN server, we don't just have the old L2TP option, which is frankly broken. They even talk about it here. They recommend switching over to WireGuard just because L2TP keeps getting meddled with and it's not a open standard really. And so you can just build your WireGuard server. You can build the network. 
you've got your public and your private key. I'm not gonna show that here because, well, you could theoretically get into my network if I didn't change this. And you can also create your network name and all that good stuff. You can set the specific port for it and you can start adding in clients as well as set up your subnet, which is really nice. You get to choose what it is. And also you can set name servers, i.e. DNS. So if you want the UDM to still be used for it, you can say, hey, use the UDM as the name server and you will have your UDM records. So if you were running like a pie hole at home, you can do that here. And you can also set up your own, whatever subnet you wanna have in whatever configurations you like. Odd enough, it is not allowing us to have a slash 16 or anything greater than a slash 24. Probably they don't have, want to have that many connections on in. You can also add in a new client specific authentication where you can have a specific profile for every single person, which is what you'd like to do. There's a lot of great stuff here. I'm not going to go over it. Definitely deserves its own video, but finally having WireGuard built into Unify is going to be phenomenal for setting up things with clients where you just need them to be able to get back to their network really easily. Having this makes it so nice. Another really useful thing that they've got in here that's going to make my life actually great is if we go into our system logs over here, there's just so much more information in here. There is the actual triggers right here, which allows you to go ahead and see, hey, what can you and what cannot you access? So anytime you're having issues with something, you will see, hey, you got this X, Y, and Z log. You can just see all of this in here and you can start figuring out what is wrong. So you can see I've got a lot of stuff in here that's getting blocked because of my inner VLAN routing. I've moved some stuff around so I'm not quite sure what this is all from. I'll be blocking out all these IP addresses in here. But right here, we can so much more easily debug what is going on in your network and why X, Y, and Z cannot access each other. I cannot stress enough how useful of a feature this is going to be for people trying to debug their networks when they've got VLANs. Because in a lot of time, you just like open up the VLANs wide open just because you're tired of trying to debug them and figure out why X, Y, and Z cannot access each other. When you've got this, you can say, oh crap, it's getting blocked from this rule. That's why I can't do it. And it's just gonna make your life so much easier. I do worry about especially if you have a device that is designed to kind of scan your network. I worry about you having way too many logs in here and kind of becoming unusable. So I'm interested to see that, but in all reality, it does not seem to be that bad. They also have some nice easy admin stuff right here that you can see who's accessing everything. And they're just adding in a lot more things and security updates and a bunch of stuff like this. You can see who is connecting to you and from what IP addresses, once again, will be blocked on out. It's just really useful the amount of logging they have added in there. And in my opinion, that is honestly the most important stuff in there. There is the good old critical stuff that's already been on here, but really the useful stuff in my experience is going to be definitely the logging that has been added in so much better. And also having WireGuard is something I'm really, really excited for. Ad blocking can be very useful as well. You can also just use a ad blocking DNS server that's already public, but you can also use ad blocking as well by going into settings, traffic management, and ad blocking right here, where you can choose which ones you'd like to use for ad blocking. I believe this actually hijacks the DNS requests entirely, so you can continue to use your same DNS servers. I need to go in and do a full test on this, but I believe it's actually hijacking the DNS requests because the vast majority of DNS requests are actually sent unencrypted. So if you do encrypt them right here, you will be able to actually kind of bypass this, but this appears to actually hijack the DNS requests and forward them on so even if you're using 8.8.8.8 or 1.1.1.1, you're still going to be having your DNS requests that are to known advertisers blocked. So that is one thing that can be a bit annoying if that is the case, because it makes it kind of hard to debug single clients and there's no easy off button. Got to do a lot of testing with this, but I'm definitely gonna have some more videos out coming on for this stuff. All right. So that is the vast majority of the great stuff that's going on here. I know this was a bit of a shorter video. Very excited to see them finally push this out. Go and leave your experiences down below. So far, 
It's worked great for me, but you know how that stuff always goes. My experience is their releases have gotten a lot more stable than they did about two years ago. And so I generally do not worry too much about updating anymore. Go ahead and leave any other Unify content you'd like to see down in the comments below and have a good one. Bye.